Hi everyone. Um, a lot of people have asked, doing a lot of blogs at the moment, asking 15 specific questions. Now, I'm going to answer these questions. I've got them down here, so let's have a look. When did you start putting on weight? Well, I started putting on weight when I got wed, when I got married. Uh, no one's fault but my own. It was contentment. I was a size 12, 14 when I got married. And within three months of getting married, I was two stone bigger. So, I was a size. I was 11 stone when I got married. And now I'm 13 stone exactly. How, what weight was your biggest? My biggest weight was 14 stone. That's number two. What diets have you done in the past? Now with me, I've done all sorts. I've tried some the world. The weirdest, wackiest one I've ever tried was Paul McKenna's Think Yourself Thin Diet. And all you do is lay down and listen to him turning on about losing weight and how much life is going to be spectacular. Um, and losing weight. Didn't like it, so I started Weight Watchers and here I am now. So, what size would I like to be? I would like to be a size 10. That's my ideal. I don't want to you know, go off the scale. Um, I want to be a size 10. What's my favourite food? My favourite food, as a Lancashire lass near Blackpool, I want fish and chips with mushy peas, lots of vinegar and mounts of salt all over it. That is my ideal meal. Beautiful. Oh, bubbly batter. Can't have soggy batter, it's got to be bubbly batter. What can't you give up? Fish and chips, but I do do an alternative. I don't go to the chippy anymore. I have um, fish from obviously the supermarket and then I have wedges instead of chips. Uh, mushy peas are just the same, just put peas in as you do. No fat, no greed, a lot healthier. What cart food can't you give up? My bugbear is cheese. I love cheese. Any type of cheese. Stilton, brie, feta, any cheese, I love cheese. So that's me, cheese. What I do put it in my PowerPoint. What do I do to reward myself when I lose weight? For me, it's me time. So I go to practically I go to um, my weight watchers meeting, I go in the evening, I come back and I have a bath and I have time for me. You know, I take my husband out of the way, shut him in the room with PlayStation on and have me time. That's what I do for my reward. I don't really do that much, obviously, with the financial situation with anyone in Britain and in the United Kingdom at the moment. It's not very good. And we can't go out uh, buying things all the time. So that's me. Right. What would I do if I got to my goal? When I got to my goal, I'd love to have a professional photograph taken of my family. And not to look like the fat friend. So that's my my aim. I'd love that. Just a studio with me and my family and a beautiful picture that I can put on my wall and say, look at me then. Or look at me now. Look at my goal. Look what I have achieved. And that's me. Number 10. What's your favourite part of my body? I have to say my booty. They are big. I don't know if they're going to stay the same like that, but I have to give it, I have to say something, don't I? So, my booty. There you go. Um, let's see the one. Here's a question for you. Um, what's in this, has it changed you about your weight? I work in the public. And I had one lady once come to me and say when I was two. And I felt like growing the ground and just crawling into it. I wasn't happy at all. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I got home and cried and cried and cried. Yes, she thought I was expecting the baby. And obviously, I wasn't. No. Obviously. There you go. What's my ideal stone? Obviously, not stone. Uh, weight on the scales would be 10 stone for me. Um, I was 10 stone when I had my son. I breastfed my son. And then as soon as I stopped breastfeeding, I went down to a size. Well, not size 10 and 10 stone. And that's what I remember. And I felt so happy about myself. But obviously, I got wed. Not just wed, it was other things as well. Stress and strains of married life. So, not married life. Should I say that sounds wrong? My husband's going to still kill me. <laughs> just food in general. Right. Uh, new or old? What were things I would go for, new or old? My things would be new. If I get to my goal weight, I would love some new clothes. I'd say the tracky bottom, top, it looks a bit nice. You go all around your lumpy bits at the top, and you have to wear a baggy t shirt. I'd love to be one of those ladies at the gym that committed little, little leggings and little tops and nothing else showing, and very nice. So that's what I'd like to do. Hmm. Would I ever have weight loss surgery? Never. Not for me. I don't like any surgery anyway, so I would never go for something like that. So no. Okay. Maybe for some people. I am not saying uh, people really need it. You know, but I would never go out myself and do it because I know I can lose weight properly. I'm not saying other people can't, but not for me. Okay. The other one, the last question is having children is the hardest for it. You make pat lunches. Obviously, they've had a pat lunch, they left a little bit. Oh, I'm good for that. Oh, mummy, I really want uh, a biscuit. Give a biscuit, you have one of them in there. You give a biscuit, you have one in there. And you don't even realise you're doing it. That's what I've stopped doing, or trying to stop doing. But what I'm doing is actually pointing the stuff I'm actually putting in there. Uh, <laughs> Alright then, well I'm off, off now. I'm um, uh, going to do some bits. Okay, I just thought I'd let you know. So, I'll uh, speak to you soon. Uh, keep, your, keep your comments coming, your po posts. Any questions, I don't mind answering. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye for now.